Hi, welcome to Rick's Can Do It. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to check out a few pencils and see which one can provide us with the darkest tones. For those of us who love to draw uh, in graphite, that is your standard drawing pencils and so forth, uh, we always want at least to have one pencil in our arsenal that will allow us to build up the contrast and to make that picture pop right out of the page. So what we're going to do here is, you see I have a number of pencils laid out here, and we're going to be uh, looking at some of the ones that are considered dark, uh, just by the fact that they're labeled 9B and 8B, or ebony, or uh, negro, or, or, you know, uh, or some have recommended on, on the net as making uh, dark tones, dark values. But I'm also going to throw into the test some HB and 2B pencils, believe it or not, because I have found that uh, several of them uh, also provide dark tones. So let's get right into it. Now to get started, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sharpen these. And then uh, that way we will have a sharp point on every one of them and uh, we'll be able to start at the same level. paper here it's a uh, sorry about that 11 by 14 drawing paper so we'll go ahead and I'll just rip out a sheet Get that nice and cleaned off a little anal about that I guess all right now I'm going to go through and introduce these pencils to you. Uh, the first one that we're going to work with here is here is a mechanical pencil. Okay, it's a two millimeter lead. So let's give that a shot. Smooth and dark. I like that. Very smooth and dark. Okay, very effective. Now here's something. This here is a mechanical pencil. It has 4B lead from AIN and from a video I was watching um, she recommended that uh, this would give you nice darks. Let's take a look. Yes, you can definitely get some nice darks out of mechanical pencils with 4B lead in it. And it certainly does wear fast. All right, moving on, let's take a look at, we have here a Prismacolor Ebony Pencil. Well, we've got a lot of smearing going on already. And with the Ebony Pencil, okay, it's just mildly scratchy, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Feels okay. Makes a nice dark. We got a lot of, as you can see, we get a lot of that glare from the light. That's pretty normal. And uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. See if that will help out with, you can see. So uh, the 4B and the Ebony are uh, pretty much dark. That's good. So everything's been dark so far, respectively. Now, Here's the Onyx, Derwent Onyx Dark Pencil that I did a video on. Um, did not actually pass the test or the mustard against uh, other pencils. 
but I thought I'd go ahead and throw it in here because in this in this case what I'm doing is when I did that test with all those pencils uh, the paper was still in the pad now I'm on a, a marble surface here so um, I'll be able to put actually more pressure but let's go ahead and put that down okay so going over and over and over and over and over because uh, still still showing that this is not the darkest pencil um, when I do the 9B you're gonna see that for sure and, and I'm on top of a pretty good surface here and with good paper alright now let's see we've already done those let's get into the real guns here we have is the Derwent Graphic 9B, which that's supposed to be darker than that based on their advertisement. So I'll put, I'm going to put it right next to, next to it here. I just broke the tip because it was really pointy. All right. You know, either I got a bad batch of 70 pencils or... The 9B is darker than the Onyx. Anyway, we've already done that video. I don't need to do it again. Here is the Statler Mars Lumograph 8B. And by the way, all these pencils so far, they feel fine in your hand. So we're basically right now, it's not a matter of feel as it is which one's going to give us nice dark tonal values. So this here's the 8B. One of my favorites actually it's a little scratchier in other words there's a little more resistance it's not as doesn't glide as uh, smoothly as these other ones uh, it has a mild uh, carbon or charcoal type resistance to it but as you can see that in exchange for that you get dark tones compared to that so so far our winner is the Statler Mars Lumograph 8B but we have more to go over here here is one that I had to search all over for and it's from uh, Koenor it's Hardmuth uh, Geoconda Negro and if you can make out that number there it's 8815 slash 2 this one here provides it's a smoother black than the um, Mars Lumograph but it is not as black as the Mars Lumograph though it is a nice dark color and it does have a darker tone than the rest of these um, so so far as far as darkness it's now it's second place um, it's a little smoother but the Mars, so far as you can see, is the darkest of them all. Okay, and last of the so-called dark pencils is the General Pencil Kimberly 9XXB. This has a mild resistance to it too, um, but it does a really nice job of putting down tone. I think it's slightly darker than the Mars 8B, the 9XXB. And so far of all the dark pencils, I'm going to have to give it to the 9XXB. I just think that that one really uh, is dark. And another bonus is that if you'll notice the, the reflections that come off of most of the graphite pencils there, these three have the least and this the very least. So, highly recommended 9XXB. Okay, now for the so-called regular pencils that are not even considered your dark pencils. They're just your standard everyday pencils, but we're going to throw that into the mix. Here's a Tombow 255HB. It's like a 70 cent pencil. It's a very nice writing pencil for general writing. But uh, let's just take a look at what we can do with that smooth on the paper I mean you can hear a slight scratch scratch they all do that but it, it feels really good in the hand and as you can see they're all within the same ballpark here 
The next one I'm going to bring out, one of my favorites, especially for 16 cents, is the Statler Norica HB2. Very impressed with this pencil. It writes very smooth, nice dark lines. It's an all around great, great pencil. Love it. Okay. The next one is the Tombow, or there it is, Tombow Mono 100, a 2B pencil. Whereas these two were HBs, it's a 2B. Smooth, dark. But it's hard to differentiate the darkness here. Um, they just seem to be in the same ballpark. Here's a regular number two pencil from Dixon Ticonderoga, number two HB. Nice pencil. Glides nice, draws nice, nice dark. Very good. Okay. Next, we have the Mitsubishi, oh, there we go, Mitsubishi High Uni 2B Pencil. Smooth, dark, also good pencil. We have the Palomino, makers of the Black Wing. This is their HB pencil. It's about a dollar sixteen for this pencil. Smooth, nice. For those who like two number two pencils. So far everything's pretty much the same as far as darkness. Um, if you really look at it, you know, you can you can see mild differences here. Uh, this one being the the lighter one, which was the uh, the first Tombow, the 255A. The other ones were all darker. Now, here is an actual black wing from Palomino. I love this pencil for just everyday doodling and whatever. Um, and I think it does a really nice job of dark, smooth. It's just like butter. It writes like butter. It's a very, very nice pencil. Um, of all these pencils, I mean, this, this one happens to be my, my number one favorite, uh, pencil for being a luxury pencil. Um, it's not cheap. It runs you, uh, almost $2 for that one pencil. And it's very comparable to this Statler Norica number two pencil for 16 cents. So, I mean, I, I'm happy with both of them and, uh, they both come with a white eraser on the end, one of those vinyl jobs, and they both work really good. The Black Wing is just mildly dark, just mildly, but this is dark enough for writing. It's smooth, um, 16 cents, or you can go for luxury for almost two bucks. It's very good. Okay, so that's the, the dark pencil test, and the bottom line is if you, you, you really want a dark pencil in your arsenal, I highly recommend the uh, General Pencil Kimberly 9XXB. And then after that, I would consider either the uh, Mars Lumograph 8B pencil, or I would look at the Negro Pencil, although it's a harder one to find, it's more expensive. So pretty much I would just stick with either the Statler Mars at 8B or the General Pencil 9XXB. Well, thanks again for watching, and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be doing many more videos of this type and DIY projects and all kinds of crazy things. And thanks again.